malicious compliance at its best. I am a father who took his girls to a baseball game. We brought a bunch of snacks which is allowed. But they are specific in the sense that backpacks are not allowed but purses are allowed. So, when we walked through the gate the security guard looks at me and says, no backpacks allow. So then I cut him off and say deadpan. That's my purse. He stopped, paused, then said, and a lovely purse it is. Go on in. Few years ago I was at Disney and they were doing a bag check. I had my wife's purse and my backpack. Being the smart ass I am. Told they guy, no comments about the purse not matching my shoes. Buddy. He looked at me behind his aviator sunglasses and without missing a beat said, this is a judgment free zone. Sir. Well played. Random bag checker dude. Tip of the hat to the security person thumbs up. I like the compliance by all. Dang it, Bobby. Yeah, I have this 10 inch by 12 inch backpack style purse. There is a liquidator store that sells returns from Costco and other stores. They have a no backpack rule. I stated that as was my purse. Nope you have to leave it at the check stand. I carry a plastic bag in my purse so I dumped all my stuff in the plastic bag and gave them the purse. What the stupid numbnuts policy doesn't count is that there are giant purses and diaper bags and baby strollers that have all kinds of hiding spaces. You can't fix stupid. Years ago, the Texas Rangers baseball team instituted a you can't bring food into the stadium policy to sell their own overpriced food. A family tried to bring in a bunch of their own fried chicken and it was confiscated by the security guards. After the game, the family returned to get their chicken back. They found that the security guards had eaten their fried chicken, nothing left but bones in the trash. Your only mistake was not first yelling, I don't know you, before saying that's my purse. I genuinely just watched someone do this at a baseball game I went to this evening. Reading the story I honestly thought you were the person I was standing behind in the ticket scan. Line. That's how you do it right there. It's not a purse, it's a satchel. Indiana Jones had one. Quote. It's European. I don't know you. Ha 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 love it! Exclamation mark. My backpack identifies as a purse and I support it. Please, please tell me you wore it like a purse open mouth smile. Ma man. I love the way you think. And that security guards can occasionally still exhibit a great sense of humor. Though. Was it malicious compliance on your part only? Or on the security guards as well? Hmm. Actually. Reminds me of a scene on the TV show, Friends. Joey. It is odd how a woman's purse looks so good on me. A man. Rachel. Exactly. Unisex. Joey. Maybe you need sex. I had sex a couple days ago. Rachel. No. No. Joey. You and I sex. Joey. Hey. Ain't gonna say no to that. To purse or not to purse. That is a question all backpacks must answer. But it is above the pay grade of your standard school security guard. Other response is the heels that go with that purse would kill your feet at Disneyland. I carry a tote bag in my backpack. So as soon as I hear that I can just stuff my backpack in the tote. Security guards give me the hairy eyeball but they can't complain. No one's been as cool as your dude. Last time I got my bag searched at an event I wanted to see if they were actually doing their job. 
As he was searching I asked what he was searching for? There was a confused, rabbit in the headlights moment before he stammered, er anything that should not be there. Like what? Quote. Er. Knives and stuff. But I do have knives as it is a, bring your own picnic, event. If it is for your picnic then it is allowed. He did not have a fucking clue what he was looking for and it was all just security theater. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.